we're going to start off by playing 0, 0, 1, 2 on the low E string, like this. And you're going to use your first finger on that first fret, second finger on the second fret. It's always those two fingers throughout this whole riff, so I'll do that again. But on this riff, um, when you get to that note, what we want on this riff is for all of the notes to ring into each other. So we're actually gonna keep that finger on as we play the next four notes. You're gonna hold that finger there, curve it round so you can hear this uh, A string ring out um, as you uh, play, and you're gonna go zero on the A string, two on the low E string, and again, zero, A string, two, E string. So to put that all together so far, it's then after that, we're kind of going to go the other way. Um, we're going to go two, one, zero on the low E string. Then once you've done that, you're going to put your second finger on the second fret of the A string. And uh, you're going to hold that finger on now and you're going to play the two on the A string, two zeros on the low E string, a bit of a longer note on that second zero, and then you play the two on the A string again to finish off that riff. So if we go from where it goes two, one, zero, it's gonna go. And then if we put the whole riff together, it's gonna sound like this. thing is about this riff though when you repeat it so on the second repeat and every repeat after that um, you just do one zero at the start so where we started with zero zero one two that's how the song starts but you'll notice if I play it twice in a row here there's only one zero on the second time round If you find it hard to leave your fingers on as you're playing these, maybe when you're learning it, feel free to take the fingers off and just play through it like this. That's fine when you're first learning it, but if you want it to sound like the original song, we need those these uh, notes to run into each other. I'll do it one more time. Mm -hmm. 